This video is to go over Magpie Activity 3, the Find Keyword Trace Demonstration. Now, in the student guide on page 7, the Magpie Activity 3, Magpie Lab Student Guide, it asks you to go into Magpie 3 and trace through the Find Keyword method. In, the, in there it asks you to try these different phrases and, and uh, keywords and it gives you an example of find keyword yesterday is today's day before day zero and it gives you this table and it may be kind of confusing how do they come up with this table what I'm going to you what I'm going to show you right now is how do I use jgrasp and the debug features to f to come up with that table here in the accompanying activity sheet that goes along with the the guide I can see that the first uh, the first example is yes is the same thing we see in the in the guide so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace use use the tools here to tra trace the values and come up with that table over here so here you see we've commented out the static void main um, we're only going to use this for the key, the exploration too so here I can highlight this section, hit edit, and hit uncomment, and that will automatically uncomment that level. And you can see right now, the only thing we're running right here is just is that example we have over here in the table. Now scroll on down to find keyword. We don't have to worry about that because we're going to stop right here. We're going to use a, key, uh, a concept called a breakpoint. We're going to place a breakpoint right here, and that's going to cause the debugger to stop at this point in code and we can trace through and grab the values here you'll see the to-do item where we want to stop to grab the values of PSN before and after it's actually going to stop right about here and we're going to copy the values into this table so let's let's start shall we so we're going to start off by clicking on the debug function let's go compile here for a little bit and you will see it'll start could it? it went through that main class and called find keyword and so we're going to start tracing through the lines of code For right now there's a lot of the debug options right now we're just going to do step over or uh, step over which is this little arrow down and as you see what you'll see right here is the variables are show the values of what the variables are at every point of code execution so uh, you, you can see as, as I step over to the next line, you see that I just assigned phrase a value. You can see that phrase shows up in the locals and as the value we assigned it. We're going to keep stepping through. It gets to the while loop. And now we're in while the first iteration, what they call iteration of a while loop. is An iteration is every time you go through a while loop. So we'll mark this first one, uh, iteration one. We're going to continue to step through the code as it executes, and right here is where the code, where the where the guide wants us to grab the values of PSN before and after. So we go over here and we see that PSN is six, which is that at that variable. We right click on it, and go to copy value, go over to the table, and paste that value right in. All right. Uh, we also see before is R. Let me copy that value. Stick it into the table. And the same thing with after. Copy that value and stick it into the table. All right. We're going to continue. Since we got all three of those values, we're going to keep stepping through the loop. You can see we hit the end of the loop. It's not done yet. It goes back up to the top of the loop. And we're going to start iteration two of that loop. We step through the code as it executes and at this point we'll grab the values of PSN before and after again as you see it's changed it's now 15 before is O and we see after is actually a single quote again as we go through this this is really cool because it'll show you the values of each attribute at the point in code Let's continue on. It's going to continue through the while loop, through the third iteration. It's looping a third time. So we'll start that trace here again. Continue on down through the code execution. Let it keep executing. 
And at this point, we see that PSN is 21. Before is, soon, is uh, blank. And after is also blank. Okay, so we've gone through. And let's continue on and see if it iterates anymore. It goes through. Oh, and it returns the value. We go back to the calling function. And we are done. Now, this is the value we have traced through. Let's check and see if that's what we got. As you can see, it matches perfectly with the student guide.